All right, we have a top 16 game this time for the Season 11 Cup. Uh, this is going to be a Crab Mirror, Mosey versus Enagon. Hope I'm saying that right. I can't remember if it's supposed to be Enagon, but I think it's Enagon. I don't know. Um, these are these are actually the last two remaining crab players in the cup. All the other crabs have been eliminated. So the winner of this game will be the top crab for season 11. Uh, let me open the deck list. I remember Mosey's deck was a little bit strange. Um, yeah, he's running the Dragon Splash with the three censure and everything. Ooh, interesting. Um, Enagon's deck is pretty pretty normal by comparison. Seems good. All right, so we see a Shuichi. Um, Mosey's going to buy a Vanguard Warrior. Okay. Now what? Do you buy a Satoshi? I was thinking maybe you just buy Satoshi. Um, ooh, is he going to weigh the crab, actually? How many weigh the crabs are in this deck? Oh, no, he can't. There's an iron mine. He does have two, though. Uh, he's just going to pass, though, so it's just going to be this Vanguard Warrior here. Interesting. Yeah, that's the nice thing about getting Iron Mine in the mirror is that you can just play characters and you don't have to worry about way of the grab at all. Uh, we see a Wayfinder here is going to find Meditations, so he could poke that with the Wayfinder for free if he wants to. So, let's see, what are you going to do here? Um, he could go for a political water attack with just the Wayfinder at Meditations. Uh, ooh, the only problem with that, though, is that Keeper of Water plus these Keeper Initiates. Yeah, so if you're going to go water, you have to make sure you can win that attack, actually. Um, that is kind of the nice thing about having Keeper of Water as your role. Uh, people can't really do those water poke attacks at you to just try and bow a character. Especially if you have Keeper Initiates available. Uh, we see a Spyglass that's going to immediately get let go. Seems good. That was the last fate there. He will be able to get another fate with Shuichi's ability. Um, yeah, so it looks like he's just going to go for a big water attack and just covert the Vanguard Warrior. That seems good. Uh, we'll see what province he's attacking here. It is the Meditations, so he didn't want to risk the Flooded Wastes, I think. Yeah, Mosey is running Flooded Wastes. So yeah, running into that would just be terrible, so you just go up Meditations since you know where that is. Don't take the chance. That does mean that Kaiushuishi will lose a fate here, but that's not a huge deal. Uh, uses the ability to gain a fate... Let's see, what can Mosey do about this? Not a whole lot, I think. Yeah, because this is a political attack, ooh, we see a Stoic Gunso into the conflict. 
Um, that is going to prevent the break, but it will not prevent the watering and the keeper initiate. Um, yeah, I don't really see a good way. Okay, yeah, so he's just going to prevent the break with that. Hmm. If Mosey has a, another conflict character and he can get a Voidering here, that would be really strong. Okay, we do see a Skirmisher, so he's going to be able to covert this Initiate here. Enagon does have one Fate now. Uh, so he could play his own conflict character and then Stronghold. We'll see what province Mosey finds. If he finds... Okay, so he finds Manicured Garden. Uh, that's fine. The The best province to find would be Shameful Display, but only if Anagon does not have a conflict character. If he does have a conflict character, then you don't want to find that. Ooh, we see a charge on Hida Kisada, though. Um, Mosey's already lost a conflict, so he won't get the ability this turn. But that is 7 additional military skill, so he's going to probably get the break here. Um, ooh, we see a Cloud the Mind on Vanguard Warrior. Okay, that's strong. Uh, that means Mosey will need like a Reprieve here if he wants to keep Kasada this turn. He will break the Manicured Garden, though, which means he destroys that Iron Mine and he's going to Void off Shuichi. So Anagon will need a Reprieve as well if he doesn't want this Shuichi to die. Or a rebuild. Could have a rebuild. Either way, though, you, you're getting that card out, so that's pretty okay. Uh, we see a military Earth with the Keeper Initiate. Earth Ring is always good. We'll see... Mm, looks like he can't do anything about this, probably. Yeah, I think he should have... I think playing the Gunso was probably a mistake there. Um, I'm not really sure why he played that. If he had saved it for this conflict and just let that break... Um, Anagon would have to go out of face down province, which means that he could possibly find flooded wastes and then you just don't need to defend and you can get a second attack or he finds shameful display which is really good uh, but now you're just gonna lose this earth ring probably if he has a reprieve he should play it now I guess he was probably hoping that he would get the vanguard warrior though to put the fade on Kasada. Ooh, we actually see a charge on Satoshi. Um, this is definitely not the best use of charge, plus it means that he does not have fate now to play a reprieve, even if he did have it. And we see a fine katana. Uh, Satoshi is going to find Karata District. And another keeper, that's always nice. Unfortunately, no, no other holdings for him to rebuild. If he did have rebuild in his hand, he might have been looking for something. Discards a court games, so yeah, not a great spot for Mosey here. He's down uh, six cards to three now, and down one fate as well. Plus, the keeper initiate will be staying till next turn, and none of Mosey's characters will stay. So Anagon's slightly ahead on board. Of course, Mosey does find the Karata District, which is always really strong in the crab mirror. Uh, that's going to make it a lot harder for Enagon to play attachments here. Uh, let's see. We have Kayu Envoy, Mia Satoshi. So Anagon could find his own Karata District with that. Um, 
Mosey could play a Witch Hunter here. Like, I feel like you kind of need to. Uh, like, you just really need to have characters here. If he has, like, Assassinate Way of the Crab, he could maybe go for that. And in that case, I would play the Satoshi, probably. Since you're going to sacrifice the Kaio Envoy anyway. Ooh, okay, he does go for the Witch Hunter here. Um, Anagon is going to use his Satoshi, so he will not get the Passing Fate. He does find another Keeper Initiate, which is always good. Uh, I'm going to find the Imperial Palace here. He already has the Favor. Uh, Mosey's going to bid 4, interesting. So he's just going down cards even more now. 11 to 7. Um, I guess he wants to start putting that honor pressure on, though, so Anagon can't draw as many cards. Plus, if he plays a Spyglass, Mosey can steal it. And Witch Hunter is a better target for Spyglass than Satoshi is. Whoops. Clicked the Discord update and it went over there. Okay, so attacking a face down province here, he's going to find Meditations, um, which is a little bit unfortunate. That means you're going to lose a fate on this Wish Hunter. He is going for the Water Ring, so this is going to be a pretty important conflict now. Um, if he wins, he gets two keepers. If his opponent wins, he gets a keeper and a fate. So, very important. Um, he's going in with five skill. He does have the Karata District to potentially steal this katana if he needs to. So Enagon will have to factor, th factor that into his calculations here. But if he can swing back with a Void Ring, he can potentially do the same thing that Mosey did last turn and just get rid of this Witch Hunter before it can do too much damage. Okay, he is going to defend with both characters, uses Meditations as the first action. Mosey is winning, so he passes. Um, Anagon can use the Stronghold to force Mosey to do something. Seems like a good idea. Uh, he's going to play a Wayfinder first, though. Ooh, and he finds Flooded Wastes with the Wayfinder, so he knows where that is now, which is pretty important. Um, and this adds an extra plus one once he uses the box, and it also forces Mosey to do something. He's going to go ahead and steal that fine katana. If he uses the stronghold now, they're just going to be tied 7-7. Seven to seven. So he needs to have something else as well. We see a watch commander on Mia Satoshi. Okay. Um, yeah, it seems pretty good. Like, Mosey has plenty of honor right now, so he can just play cards, but you're starting that honor pressure early, which is good, and this uh, watch commander is going to stick around for a while. Plus, that forces Mosey to have another card here, so. Good play there. Ooh, we see a. We see Mosey pass, actually, and then there's a Cloud the Mind on the Witch Hunter. So Anagon is going to win that conflict. Wow. So he gets the Keeper Fate. He gets the Keeper Initiate. 
And Mosey is out of fate now. So now Anagon can just go void and kill this Witch Hunter and then... Yeah, that's 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 going to be pretty tough to come back from. I'm I'm pretty surprised actually that Mosey went into that. Ah, uh, without any other military buffs in his hand. Like, all Anagon needed was one card, and then the game is just over, right? Yeah, I mean, the first turn was probably... The first turn was bad enough, but... Um, Anagon is just getting more and more ahead now. He's going to go at a face-down province. Okay, so you go political at Flooded Waste to just flip that, and there's nothing Mosey can do about it. That saves you the fate, because you don't have to go to meditations. Hmm, what's he thinking about? The other two face down are, okay, he does go to Flooded Waste. You could go at other, one of the other face down ones as well. They are Shameful Display and Upholding Authority, which either way you're probably not going to break. So you could just see which one is which. Uh, but he does choose to flip the Flooded Waste. I think that is probably correct since you can just do it for free here. That's actually where he put Karata District, interesting. Um, and yeah, that's just going to be it for this turn. So the Witch Hunter will die, and we will still have this Satoshi with the Watch Commander as well as a Keeper Initiate on the other side. Um, <laughs> no, unfortunately we are not. Um, I mean, we've only, this game has only been going on for like 18 minutes anyway, so <laughs> not even close, but it's definitely not looking very good, uh, for Mosey here. It's going to discard the Mantis Ten Kinja. Ooh, Enagon finds Karata District. Um, what else do you play? Mosey does not have a Shugenja here. Does he even have Cloud in his deck? No, he doesn't even have Cloud. So yeah, you could just play 3 Fate Kasada here. And yeah, I think this is... I don't know, like, I think this is just over for Mosey, honestly. I don't think he can win this game. He's just so far behind. Um, we see Hita Guardian. Uh, do you play? Hmm, what do you play? So Enagon already passed. You can just play Satoshi maybe. And then tr like with one fate and then try to find the third duplicate. Okay, Satoshi with two fate. And then he's going to use it, I imagine. And he does find the third one. Um, that is the third keeper as well. But he'll have to get a watering, which seems unlikely. Uh, they both bid three. So 11 to 11 for cards in hand. 
Um, Kasada is going to go for military fire, it looks like. You probably just break Karada District? Yeah. So if you're Mosey here, you could use the Karada to just steal the Watch Commander while it's still on the board. And then force him to... I mean, it doesn't really force him to Karada back. That's kind of the problem. Um... He does have rebuild. But yeah, I think this should be the break here. If you actually want to use Karada during this conflict, you do have to burn an action though. So maybe we won't even see that. Like you could just not defend here and then try like I think your only hope is to win a water conflict probably. And even then, we're going to see no defense. Probably just pass. Um, I, was, I think we might be seeing a rebuild here. But that does... Okay, so he's playing Rebuild to eat Kasada. And then he is going to Karada District, the Watch Commander here. He should have just done that before the conflict, probably. Although I guess then maybe he doesn't attack there is the worry. But I, th I still think you should have done that before the conflict. Um, or you could have also saved the Satoshi trigger, I guess, but and you don't get to use that. Uh, we do see the break here. Ooh, I think this is a mistake. I think you should actually not discard the Karada District because this does give Mosey the option now to rebuild it. Uh, so I actually don't like that discard because it would have gotten discarded at the end of the turn anyway and now Mosey can rebuild it this turn. Um, I'm not gonna just I'm not gonna say it's a mistake because it does turn off heat a guardian you can't use his uh, action to burn Casada now so it's not necessarily bad Okay, we're going to see an air ring here. So he's just going for the poke here to get that f two fate. And uh, if he doesn't defend, then you take two honor, I guess. I mean, he does have the watch commander now. So pressuring honor is legitimate. Um, Enagon has the military favor though, so he can just defend with this keeper initiate. And just gonna pass. Uh, I think Mosey will probably pass too. He mostly just wanted the two fate there, I imagine. Yep. So that's going to be it. Um, 
I'm kind of surprised that he kept the Imperial Palace. I guess it was because he knows Mosey has three censures, uh, but I don't know if that's really necessary. Like, he had the Casada that he was going to play, so I guess it's fine. He didn't really need anything else there. So, what do you do now? Ideally, you would like to get the Earth Ring here, but you can't risk letting Mosey have the Water Ring for free. So maybe you have to just go water. If he has fight on in his hand, he could go earth, though. And then try to bait him into attacking water, and then you still win. That would be pretty good. Okay, it looks like he is going to go water, though. Hmm. Wow, he actually goes at Meditations. Uh, this is going to take the last fate off of Satoshi, potentially. We do see a defense, so you can use the Stronghold as your first action and then Meditations. I have to imagine Enagon has either a Rebuild or a Reprieve in his hand, based on this play. Um, it's, yeah. So yeah, you definitely use the Stronghold first, right? If Mosey could somehow win this on defense, that would be pretty insane. But I don't really think that's possible. Yep, there's the stronghold. Um, Anagon is going to take back that watch commander there, so now you can just meditations. He's going to play his own Watch Commander. Interesting. Um, so he is still losing by two, but this means Enagon... I mean, it's a three-fate Satoshi, so it's fine either way. Uh, it, d it did cost him an honor to play it in this conflict, though. Ooh, okay, we see a Court Games. That's just going to tie this up. So Mosey's going to be spending a lot of cards here. He does have the honor to do it, though. Ooh, for shame. Strong. Uh, but there's a Court Games to counter that. <laughs> Man, so much honor being spent during this conflict. Uh, I hope he doesn't forget to use Meditations. Okay, there it is. If that was all he had, he did lose more in this conflict than Anagon did. But the watering is not going to do a whole lot. It just gets you a keeper and that's that's it. Let's see if Mosey has any other cards. If you do have any other cards, you definitely spend them. Winning this conflict would be huge and exactly what you need to get back into this game. You would need like another for shame, maybe. Uh, what are we seeing? We're seeing a rebuild on Karata District. So he's going to take the Watch Commander, I guess. You have to put it on Guardian, though, which is suboptimal. Yeah, that is the play. Interesting. Ooh, an ornate fan, though.
Man, they must have spent like a total of like 10 honor or something during that conflict. That's pretty crazy. Well, I mean, at least the watch commander dies no matter what now, I guess. Um, okay, we do see a reprieve on Satoshi. I'm pretty sure Mosey does not have a let go, or he would have let go of the fan, right? Uh, he has a reprieve, though. He's going to play that on the Heat of Guardian. It would have been nice to save that Karata District for the Reprieve. That would have forced him to have either another Reprieve or a Rebuild. Um, he does get to keep this Watch Commander though, which is nice. Okay, now he discards Palace. I think that is correct at this point. Ooh. Mosey finds his palace. Interesting. This is the third keeper for Anagon as well, and he finds a Satoshi dupe. So as Mosey, I think you're just playing Crisis Breaker and then passing. You could play Kasada also, although he does have one Cloud of the Mind left, but no Shugenja currently. Yeah, Kasada might be okay. Like, the ability is just really strong, right? Um, it is a little bit unfortunate that Anagon has 10 fate here, and the only character he found that he can really play is the Shrewd Yasuki. Mosey is thinking about this. He is first player. So if he plays the Crisis Breaker, okay, he is going to play Kasada. Um, he can still maybe like poke with the Heat of Guardian on Earth to just get that fate. Just go up Meditations. Um... He could also, hmm, like you don't really want to break up holding authority, do you? Ooh, Skirmisher. So with Skirmisher, what he can actually do now is he can go military water potentially and covert Kasada. Maybe you do go at, at upholding now. Yeah, I kind of like that. You send Kasada and Skirmisher at upholding and you covert his Kasada and then you go water. Finally get your three keepers and if he doesn't defend with his keeper you bow it. So you get that bow either way. Um, if you don't want to go at upholding, that is, hmm, like you can go at meditations, ooh, Anagon plays a skirmisher as well. You could go at meditations with both of the Zero Fate characters, potentially. Um, and then you have Satoshi as a burn action for Kasada, and you can Guardian for plus four. And if he assassinates you, he goes down to two. Ooh, Way of the Crab. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, he has to now either lose his Covert or his Watch Commander plus uh, Heat of Guardian buff.
which is a tough choice. Okay, he is going to sacrifice the Heat of Guardian, so he will still get to covert somebody here. Man, he has no fate now, though. You could potentially go Earth to get the Fate um, and getting cards like Earth. Earth would be the best string here if there weren't keepers. Uh, ooh, Talisman of the Sun. That's a little bit scary. And a Wayfinder as well, going to find Shameful Display. So now he knows what uh, which of the last two face down ones is which So they have both passed here, so we are on to the first conflict. Um, man, it's such a tough choice. You definitely attack Upholding Authority now, I think, because that way if he talismans you somewhere else, then... Uh, the Upholding Authority doesn't do anything. Ooh, he is going Earth, actually, and he coverts the Wayfinder. Okay, and we see uh, Satoshi defend, Kasada defend as well. No, just, just Kasada, maybe. Kasada and Yasuki. Yeah, so he definitely really wanted that fate, and getting the Earth Ring effect here would be pretty huge, so Enagon is going to want to prevent that from happening. Plus, whoever wins this conflict turns off the other player's Kasada. Okay, so it is going to be just Kasada here. Ooh, we see a mountain. Okay, yeah, uh, this is really good for Anagon now. So what's this attack going to be? Maybe you go political water now? And he still has the talisman as well.
So, so for the next conflict here, um, let's see, where is he going to go? If Karada is on upholding, then I think I just attack that. Okay, maybe upholding is here. Yeah, that is upholding. Uh, I think that's the correct province to attack. And he is going for the water ring. So the water ring effect will at least not do anything, uh, but he will get the two keeper initiates. Yeah, there's the other one. Uh, and we see no defense pass. Remember to use Yasuki there. And plays a reprieve so that doesn't get discarded here. So four cards in hand. Let's see what he finds. Zero fate now for Enagon, actually. Uh, discards the third reprieve. That's pretty good. So what you could actually do here is Mosey is try to break his upholding authority to kill the Karata district. And if you do that, you can steal this reprieve. He doesn't have rebuild in his hand. Um, ooh, ornate fan on Kasada though. Not sure why you pre-play that. Oh, right, 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 watch, Commander, good point. Um, so yeah, Mosey is just not going to attack there. Seven, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I probably can't break that Karata District either way. So that's just going to be it, actually. And it looks like he didn't draw another let go. Um, a little bit unfortunate that he's only seen one of those. Kuniyori is pretty okay here. Uh, Witch Hunter, though, for Anagon is very good. Two favorable grounds as well. So... I mean, Enagon still has to close this out. I imagine he will be going for Void here. That looks extremely good. Uh, going at Meditations with his Zero Fate Keepers. And the Satoshi. He doesn't have Fate either. So it's going to be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it'll be tough to defend this for sure. I mean, this is definitely the play, right? Ooh, he's thinking about sending the Yasuki. 
I think you're probably fine with just these guys. Um... Okay, he's going to defend with Satoshi, so he'll probably try to prevent the break here. Just so it takes Enagon a bit longer to get to his stronghold. If he defends with Yori as well, he could force some cards. Hmm... Man, both players just have so many uh, potential ways to counter Kasada here. Like, yeah, the Mia Satoshis, he has two favorable grounds. Stronghold, of course. So yeah, we do see the defense with two characters. He's going to use Satoshi, and then he's going to Stronghold. Uh, so we see an attempted favorable ground... And then he'll either move somebody in or out, probably. You still have to stronghold here as Mosey, because you are losing right now. Ooh, Yori discards rebuild. That's a pretty good hit. Um, I think Enagon will very strongly consider moving in the shrewd yusuke here just so he can get this voidering uh okay he has a court games though that works just as well honors a keeper initiate okay sure i guess this way you get the honor back sooner And it looks like Mosey doesn't have anything else to play here. I mean, if Enagon wanted to win this conflict, he was just going to win it no matter what, right? Because he does have that favorable ground. Should have played a rebuild before the conflict, yeah. Uh, if he did play a rebuild before the conflict, that would have cost him one of the favorable grounds, so he wouldn't have one left now. Not sure how much that would matter, but <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying, like we're we're talking about hypothetical plays anyway, so it doesn't even, it doesn't matter at all. Uh, he is gonna get that void ring onto Satoshi. Still hasn't broken that Meditations, though. Ooh, passes his Conflict. Um... Hmm. 
I was going to say if Mosey had fight on, he could have just attacked there to pull out a defense. I mean, I guess he has Witch Hunter anyway, yeah, so it probably just doesn't matter. Um, so you just go... Probably go air or fire, actually, uh, even though you are pretty far down on hand size. You really want to pressure out the last few points of honor here if you can. The problem is that you have to attack into meditations, which you don't want to do. I mean, he could just attack shameful, and it looks like he is going to... All of these characters are pretty low glory, so that should be fine. Uh, it does mean Muzzy gets to honor one of his characters, but that will likely be the Casada. Yeah, I mean, Shameful is fine. Um, if he does break it, then he will be on the stronghold, which is good. What is Mosey's stronghold, actually? Is it Air Province still? Yeah, it must be. Fertile Fields. Yeah, so that's, that's fine. Uh, the Shujisuki will get to draw him a card here. Oh, Mosey hasn't even burned an action yet, actually, so... He won't even get to use Shameful, potentially. And if you... Like, there's no way you can attack here either, so... Yeah, it's like, it's just a lose-lose, essentially. Because if you, if you don't defend here, then Witch Hunter just stands up Satoshi, and then if you attack, he moves you to Meditations and still wins the conflict. So that's not good. Well, I guess you haven't used your military yet, so he would have to unbow Kasada, maybe. Yeah, he just unbows Kasada. Uh, well, you can't take it because you need to burn an action first. Well, you just burn Shameful, yeah. that's That works. So yeah, burn Shameful, you Karata the Reprieve, he takes it back. This is an unopposed air conflict. He's going to go down to one honor. Unless he has a conflict character, I guess. Yep, going to take the reprieve. Ooh. So, if... Uh, I, I guess I should say when Enagon breaks this, he should definitely not discard the Karata District... Because if he does discard it, Mosey can rebuild it and then steal an attachment. He has seen two rebuilds already, but you you just can't risk that. Uh, Wish Hunter gets sent home, sure. That's going to be a break. Ooh, discard. Yeah, you shouldn't have discarded that. Yeah, I mean, it probably won't matter, and he probably doesn't have the rebuild anyway, but... That, I mean, that's definitely a mistake. You should never discard that. <laughs> I mean, he already did it. 
I'm not telling him before he makes his decision, I'm just saying it afterwards. Uh, so yeah, you just don't attack here, because if you do attack, then he will talisman you. And that is bad. Which means you probably should have defended, so you at least didn't lose the honor, I guess, but I'm not really sure. I mean, I'm letting them do their thing, I'm just, I just wanted to point that out, because I think it's a mistake. Like, it, it's not a small mistake, it's like a really big mistake. Uh, Mosey has his own reprieve, okay, that's good. So, at least his Satoshi won't die. And he does get the favor as well. Um, I have to imagine he has at least one sentry in his hand by now. Ooh, Borderlands Defender. This is like this is like the potential go off flop for Mosey, the broker plus two characters here. Plus a funeral pyre as well. Uh we see Vanguard Warrior and Mantis Ten Kinja. That Vanguard Warrior is a pretty big deal. Yeah, I mean I think it it's it's a small mistake, but I think uh you should have just defended with Casada there. Like there's no way you're gonna attack, right? So you just defend so that you don't lose the honor. Uh, Mosey is first player here. Hmm. What he would really like to do is get a water ring, obviously. But I don't think Anagon is going to let him do that. Okay, so we are seeing a Earth, not military. Um, we are seeing a military Earth attack with the Kaiu Envoy. Seems good. Uh, so you get one fate here from the Earth Ring, and then if you win, you get to discard something and draw a card, which is pretty strong. We see Kasada and Yasuki defending. Seems like a, a little bit of an overcommit, maybe. Uh, unless he has another mountain. mountain. <laughs> uh, 
Like, I would have just sent Borderlands Defender instead of Casada, maybe? Oh, wow, attempts to use Funeral Pyre, but it gets cancelled. He does still get the fate in the card from the Envoy dying, though. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he did that. You you save that for the broker conflict, right? I guess it doesn't matter since he already had courtesy and sincerity, but you should have at least done it outside the conflict so you draw the extra card. Uh, looks like no mountain. The Witch Hunter is going to unbow Casada, so, I mean, I would be doing some serious math at this point if I were in a gun. Like, I don't think you can break the Stronghold if he defends, um, but you can potentially get a Watering at least and get your three Keepers back. Mosey actually only has two cards in his Dynasty deck. Karada the Watch Commander and All in Air. Uh, yeah, that's fair. If he just has uh, more military skill, you can heat a Guardian to eat Kasada and then box. So you'd be at two, three. How many labs has he seen? I think he's seen all the labs. Like, what I was going to say is. Um, You could just not do anything, actually. Okay, he has his own Watch Commander. That's fine as well. Uh, if you just don't do anything and just defend whatever he does, then he just loses on honor next turn. Right? Okay, maybe not. He's playing a rebuild. But he only has three cards in his Dynasty deck. It's going to be two after this gets discarded. So he is on a pretty tight clock here. But yeah, I think the um, all-in air attack will probably do it here. Let's do a count. We have 4, 8, 10, 14, 21. And then 3, 10, um, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 after he strongholds. Hmm. So you, you need you need to have a card in your hand, uh, but as long as you have any card then you're fine here. Oh, he hasn't used Satoshi yet, has he? So you just uh, you just uh, use Satoshi and then you can heat a guardian plus stronghold. And then you're at 26. Um, I would assume he's doing the math in his head right now, trying to figure out if he has enough. You could probably just do it even if you don't have enough, actually. 
Uh, like I said, he's running out of cards here. Yeah, doing math here. Um, I do like leaving the Ten Kinja home since it only contributes one skill. And that way you still have the political left that he has to defend. Yeah, so we do see the full defense. He's going to attempt to use Satoshi, so now he can use his other abilities. Uh, probably just use Hita Guardian first. Seems like the right way to go about it. You can Fertile Fields as well, although that doesn't really help you too much. Wait, how much honor did he have? Okay, he had seven honor. For a second I thought, <laughs> for a second I thought he did that with four honor and he just lost the game. <laughs> Um, so yeah, assassinate on Hita Guardian, that is gonna do it actually, I think, because now all you can do is Stronghold here, and that will just tie it up. So yeah, that is gonna be the game. Um, pretty good assassinate there to just end the game. Uh, that does mean he draws a card and gains a fate, but again, he can't play any cards because of Watch Commander, so... Yeah, I mean, Mosey was pretty behind in that game from the beginning. Um, it was just kind of a slow, inevitable grind there. But still, well played. Um, Enagon will be advancing to the top eight. So he... Uh, he will be the top crab for season 11, so congratulations to him. And he will play next against the winner of Swartzkoff, a crane player, uh, versus the person who wins the Handsome Dan game that is about to start. So we've already been keeping them waiting for a while, I guess. So I'll just I'll go ahead and end this one so we can start that game. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for this one, so join us immediately after this I'm pretty sure for Handsome Dan versus Lingering Drama should be an interesting game and thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time